Oxford Read and Imagine, Level Two. Stop the Machine by Paul Shipton, read by Sophie Aldred, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2015. Hello, my name is Ben. Hello, my name is Rosie. This is Grandpa. This is Grandpa's van. It's fantastic. Ben, Rosie's brother. Rosie, Ben's sister. Grandpa. Max, Ben's friend. Clunk, Grandpa's robot. Kim. Kim works at the recycling center. Now let's read this story. Stop the machine. What? Are you doing with those plastic bottles, Clunk? Ben asks. Where are you taking them? To Grandpa's van, says Clunk. Can we help you? asks Max. Yes, please, says Clunk. You can open the van doors for me. Grandpa and Rosie come outside too. Grandpa points at the empty bottles. We're taking them to the recycling center, he says. Maybe. They can be a new plastic chair, or a new plastic toy. How? asks Ben. Come to the recycling center with us and see. Grandpa tells the boys. The machines there. Are fantastic. Soon, Grandpa, the three children, Clunk, and lots of plastic bottles are in the van. Let's go, says Grandpa. Clunk starts the van. When the van stops. It's in a new place, with lots of big machines and trucks. We're here, says Rosie. Grandpa goes and talks to a woman from the recycling center. Her name is Kim. Please. Can we see the machines? He asks. Okay, says Kim. On one of the machines, lots of cans are moving on a big belt. There are steel cans and aluminium cans. Kim says. She points at a big magnet above the belt. We use that big magnet to take out the steel cans. Wow, says Ben. Then Kim takes them to the machine for plastic bottles. A truck. Is putting bottles on a big belt. Watch this, Kim says. A machine at the top 
of the belt breaks the bottles into very small pieces. Then we can use those little pieces to make new things. I want to take a photo of this, says Max. He takes out his cell phone, but his house key is in his pocket too. The key falls out of his pocket. Oh no, says Max. What's wrong? asks Kim. My house key was in my jeans, says Max. But now it's under those bottles. On her phone, Kim speaks to a man in the recycling centre's office. Please stop machine number two. When the machine stops, they look at the belt. How can we find my key there? asks Max. It's very small. I have an idea, says Rosie. Grandpa and Kim go with Rosie. When Clunk learns about the key, he has an idea too. He runs to the van. He pushes a red button and then... Wow! says Max. The van's small! Clunk jumps out of the van again. And I'm small too. Now I can find your key, Max. Clunk is small and so it's easy for him to move under the plastic bottles. Soon Clunk sees the key. That was easy, the robot says. Now I can give Max his key. Oh no! The belt is moving again. The key is in Clunk's arms, so he can't use his hands. Then the belt moves faster and Clunk falls. There is a big plastic bottle behind him. Help! shouts Clunk. I'm in a bottle! Clunk is scared. I can't climb out and Ben and Max can't hear me, he thinks. I'm getting closer and closer to the machine at the top of the belt. That machine breaks the plastic bottles into little pieces. I don't want to be lots of little pieces. Ben and Max are scared too. Turn off the machine, shouts Ben. Please! But the man in the office can't hear them. What can we do? asks Max. Clunks on that belt. It's taking him to the machine at the top. Then Ben and Max hear a truck behind them. Kim is driving it. Rosie 
and Grandpa run to the boys. This was my idea, says Rosie. The truck has a big magnet on it. It can pick up your key, Max. Clunks on the belt too, says Ben. He's small. But the belt's moving again, says Max. We can't stop it. Quick, says Rosie. The magnet can pick up Clunk too. Kim moves the truck so the magnet is above the belt. Then the key flies up and hits the magnet. Then Clunk flies up too. We have him, says Grandpa. Max is happy to have his key again. Clunk is on Rosie's hand. Thank you, Rosie, shouts Clunk. Grandpa is happy too. It's good to recycle, he says. But we don't want to recycle you, Clunk. <laughs>